Hello, in this screencast we're going to have a look at the effect of altitude on trust. In previous screencasts we saw that if we decrease pressure we get a decrease in trust and if we decrease temperature we get an increase in trust. I'll say that again. So if we decrease pressure so pressure goes from there to there, then the trust decreases. And if we decrease temperature, so the temperature decreases from here to here, then we get an increase in, in trust. Right, so if we look at our atmosphere, it has a number of different layers. And for commercial aviation, we're really concerned about the troposphere, the tropopause, and the lower region of the stratosphere. And temperature varies through the different layers, uh, as shown in, in this graph. So temperature decreases in the troposphere, it holds steady in the tropopause, and it holds steady in the lower regions of the stratosphere. And, and we're just going to be concerned from this point down. <clears throat> Pressure, on the other hand, continuously decreases as we go up, uh, as we go up in altitude. So if I take an altitude and I increase altitude. So as I increase altitude, I can see that the temperature drops from this point to this point. Okay, so the temperature has gone from here to here. And the pressure has reduced from this point to this point. So we've got a reduction in pressure and a reduction in uh, temperature. So if we have a reduction in pressure, we get a reduction in trust. And if we have reduction in temperature, we get an increase in trust. Now you might think, well, that increase due to temperature will offset the decrease due to pressure. But unfortunately, that's not the case because the decrease in trust due to the decrease in pressure is greater than the increase due to the decrease in temperature. So basically, the, the pressure, influence of pressure, is greater than the influence of temperature. <clears throat> so the decrease in trust due to pressure is greater than the increase due to, due to temperature. And you know, we really need to uh, emphasize that point. Okay, so we can combine both of them onto this graph here, where we have altitude on the x-axis and trust on, on the y-axis. So if I take my, my point and I increase altitude from this H1 to H2, I can see that my trust has overall decreased from trust 1 down to trust 2. And that will be true for every region in the troposphere. But as we go up in altitude, when we hit the tropopause, the temperature no longer drops off. So the temperature remains steady. So if you recall, this, de this decrease in temperature was increasing trust, and that, that was offsetting the decrease due to pressure. But if the temperature doesn't decrease, then there's nothing to offset that decrease in pressure due to decrease in trust due to pressure. So the trust will fall off at a faster rate. So with altitude, as we go up in altitude, trust decreases steadily. So we have the decrease due to pressure, which is offset by an increase. Uh, due to temperature, but when we get to the tropopause, the temperature remains constant. So that doesn't offset the decrease due to pressure, so the temperature just drops off faster once we go into the tropopause. So, we conclude with this statement, trust reduces with altitude. Okay, that's, that's true. It's just that the rate of reduction increases 
uh, in the tropopause and the lower regions of the stratosphere. Thank you.